ओके सो वी स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव प्लीज रीड क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव सो दिस इज ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ आर ओ यू एसेट Is ready. Okay, so the done right, finished right. The very first thing they said R O U S it. We understand from India is hundred and sixteen. So what they are asking us to just to calculate the amount of R O U S it. So how do I start with calculation of amount of R O U S it? So first thing is I need a lease liability. What is my lease liability? What is my lease liability? How do? Okay. What all the components are there? So I have got a fixed component of two. Cost of final check is there. Ah, final check is there. But should I include that in my estimations? Should I include in my calculations? After fifth year, but if it is based on the one lakh flight hours, no? You can avoid it. Are you sure? This is a variable, right? But I don't run. I will avoid it. But if you read the next sentence, we the check must have performed, or you have to reimburse that cost to the lesser, irrespective of the actual number of flight hours. End of the lease. So I have to pay. Once fifty thousand is my estimated cost. Now, is it in substance lease fixed payment? It is a variable. It is very clearly it is dependent on the number of flights which I can avoid not running. Even though I don't run it, I can't avoid it because it is mandatory for me to perform the check, or I have to reimburse that money to him. So ultimately, I have to pay fifty. So my today its present value of that liability. Whether I pay to the owner, lesser, or I pay to the third party, if I pay to the lesser, this will be part of lease liability. If I pay to the third party, it will be part of asset, and it is a separate liability. Follow no? It is a separate liability. See, fifty thousand for whom you have to pay? Just very first thing, whom you should pay? It depends upon see you reimburse the cost. Or you pay to the third party and get the check performed. Now, if I am going to reimburse the cost to the lesser, so this fifty thousand will become part of the lease liability. I have to find out the present value and pass an accounting entry R O U asset account debit to lease liability. This present value of fifty thousand also will include here. It will include here. But if this fifty thousand has to be paid to third party, then R O U asset is debited to. I say. Uh, final check liability to lease liability here i have only roi to lease liability here roi to lease liability to final check liability because this 50000 is payable to third party not clear clear no so ultimately again it depends upon whom you are paying this if you are paying to the lesser it should be part of the lease liability if you pay to the third party yes it is uh, we are paying to the lesser but we pay ah uh, if you pay to the third party no here they said no or reimburse to the lesser whichever question you go into the substance and see whom you are paying ultimately is this 50000 Uh, that is today. Today, that is why we credited bank, no R O U to bank, not liability. R O U. Ah, here this fifty thousand also it is added to R O U in both the cases. Now, payable to the lesser. If it is payable to third party, yes, it is a liability. 
but it is not lease liability it is say financial liability for decommissioning whatever it is but either it's or we yes obviously i said no in the 16 we are going to apply here okay so first we are going to write some theory even though they said calculate they have told explained it so we have to write this other list yeah. no that assumption no because like they have to pay or you have to give it to the lessor ah okay. it is left to your choice what you are going to assume so if you say that i have to reimburse to the lessor then when you calculate lease liability you say 2 lakh into present value annuity factor correct for 5 years and when for this 50000 you say present value factor at 5th year you have to do present value factor but you should it be part of lease liability or it is separate that is different thing that depends upon your assumption if you say that okay lesser is less is don't want the headache of getting it done by third party because it might increase also no so what he will do he will give to the okay lesser only tell you you only do this i'll pay you 50000 if that is the case then it will this 50000 will be part of 2 lakhs follow okay so what we are going to write make a point lessee will not estimate the planned check if certain things are within its control like as you observed it is a variable it is within my control however 50000 is payable towards the final check is mandatory so i need to estimate the amount to be included in the lease liability have some keywords further it is assumed that lessee is going to reimburse to the lesser now it is clear to you what we did in the other way doesn't matter in both the case we will do let us do it in both the ways in the exam if they don't give this word reimbursement but final check has to be done we will do that way also follow no your point if they say determine and all not calculate calculate means straight away you can jump to the calculation the point is you are not going to estimate certain things which are within your control but here the final check is mandatory so in the first sentence you are going to say you are not going to estimate certain things which is within your control in the given case rupees 50000 is final check mandatory and we are going to assume that the it is going to be reimbursed three points should come in your answer so you can say in this in substance variable What a pendrive to? Pendrive is there? Pendrive? You got no? Ah, I'll give that later. Clear? Noted? Only three points, sir. Huh? No estimation of variable which is within the control. Fifty thousand final check mandatory and assumed to be reimbursement. Okay. So next we will proceed with the calculation. What is my present value of the lease payments? how do you calculate present value of lease is 2 lakhs into 3.993 which is present value of annuity factor at 8% that you know the rate of interest rate which comes to 7 lakh 98600 and second case present value of final check Fifty thousand into zero point six eight one present value factor thirty four thousand fifty. So finally, your lease liability amount, which is nothing but R O U amount, is eight lakh thirty two thousand four fifty. Now you'll ask me, sir, what is the accounting entry we need to pass? What is the accounting entry here? if we, this is a reimbursement if we are going to assume this is a reimbursement to the owner lease liability sorry own uh, reimbursement to the lesser then i will pass an accounting entry rou to lease liability how much if i assume this amount is to be final check has to be reimbursed to the lesser what is my accounting entry rou to lease liability how much 
एट लैख थर्टी टू सिक्स फिफ्टी लेस सर बिकॉज आई एम गोइंग टू पे दिस फिफ्टी ऑल्सो नो सपोज यू से सर नो दिस वी आर गोइंग टू एज उल्टा दिस आई विल गेट इट डन बाय थर्ड पार्टी हाँ स्टिल आर ओ यू विल बी स्टिल एट लैख थर्टी टू सिक्स फिफ्टी to lease liability 7 lakh 98 because this is what you have to pay to the lesser to final check liability 34000 clear so that final check liability will be financial liability because you have to pay to somebody right in cash it is the contractual obligation to pay cash lease liability also is in the nature of an financial liability Because you are going to pay cash, right? Two lakh rupees cash. Clear? So, are you clear about the initial recognition and measurement? Initial recognition says you have to apply the definition. There, initial recognition when the parties become parties contract parties to the contract. When you should recognize the financial instrument? When the parties have become parties to the contract, like this. When you should recognize the lease? Initially recognize the lease. When a contract contains a lease, what do you mean by contract contains a lease? There is an identifiable asset. You have got the right to use that asset. All the economic benefits are going to flow to you. There is no substantial substitution right. All those stuff. That is recognition principle. See, always remember, initial recognition is a pure principle. Now you recognize. That means you are ready to pass this accounting entry. How do you initially measure? Initial measurement is present value of the lease payments plus of what? What is? There are two components. R O U lease liability. What is the value of lease liability? Present value of lease liability. What is lease liability? Your fixed payments, in substance fixed payments, variable payments dependent on index, present value of your residual guarantee, present value of the purchase price, termination payments. All these five components are part of the lease liability. What is your lease R O U asset? How do you initially measure R O U asset? This value, you say, sir, lease liability plus direct cost plus something paid before commencement and the final decommissioning liability or adjustment settlement liability. Are you clear, crystal clear about the initial recognition of R O U and lease liability? Both are different, na? Lease liability is going to become part of ROU, but ROU there is something extra also. So now you understood how to calculate the initially measure the lease. This accounting entry is very simple. It depends upon the definitions. Every standard, the accounting entry what you pass that depends upon the definition. If you say fixed asset account debit to liability, why do you debit fixed assets? Why do you debit PPE? that depends upon in the 16 now at what value that is called initial measurement when the very first entry you pass at what value you measure it is called initial measurement done i am done when my next thing is going to come maybe at the end of the year what i call for that subsequent, subsequent measurement again there is nothing called subsequent recognition initially you recognize Initially, you measure, then subsequent measurements. So, how do we go for the subsequent measurement? Every standard, ah, uh, you get that flow. You have got a base. Now, standard says you can go with the cost model for ROUSA or revaluation model. You can find out from time to time the value is the value, fair value, and you can use the revaluation model. It is something similar to in day sixteen. Now, accumulated depreciation you are going to deduct impairment losses, and if any adjustments are done for the re-measurement of the lease liability after two years, three years, that are also going to get adjusted. Okay. Now, how we will charge the depreciation? We said we deducted no depreciation. How we are going to charge the depreciation? There is a catch. Understand? You might have taken any asset on lease. Understand the logic here. You might have taken any asset on lease. It can be building, flight, bulldozer, factory. Now, if the lease contract says at the end of the lease, asset will be compulsorily transferred to the lessee. Possible? Then I need to pay exercise price. 
which is part of my lease liability okay or there is an option to purchase one thing is the compulsory transfer there is no option to the lessee it will go now or it there can be an option which i may go may not go but i am sure that i am going to buy this asset when i told you no this is a five year lease i acquired a machinery and installed whose life is 10 years i have got an option or whatever uh there is an option for me to buy this asset back and i find that at the day one okay this machine is there and tomorrow market prices are going to change market conditions are going to change why not let me get this property because i have installed a machine okay which may be life is 10 years or 20 years so i might decide to buy this asset whatever property i have taken on lease i might decide to buy follow no in both the cases i am going to get that asset or there can be another situation uh no wait okay in such case when the asset is going to compulsorily come to you or when you have got an option and you are sure to buy that asset the depreciation should be based on the useful life of the asset and not the lease term makes sense makes sense if you are going to compulsorily get the asset that means asset is going to go, you are going to enjoy that asset what term may be the life or you are having option and you are sure on the day one that you are going to buy this option in such case the depreciation generally roi asset on how many years we depreciate least term because after lease contract is one finished no he is going to take back the asset but if after contract also after lease contract also if i am going to enjoy that asset that means the roi asset depreciation should not be based on the term of the lease but it is of the life of the lease nothing this clause is not there purchase option is not there then so, um, in that case after the lease term lease liability will expire lease liability will expire i still have roi asset i will transfer that roi asset to the concerned pp whatever balance is there it is an roi asset no meaningless ha ah. i will purchase that what is the value of the lease term it will expire i will continue the lease term then it is going to remeasurement no it is it will continue with roi asset only and at the end i will buy this pp there is some balance in roi asset i will pass an accounting entry pp e account debit to rou and this balance pp i will depreciate it over useful life are you getting a flow perfect my accounting is perfect now that means i have depreciated this asset from day one based on this useful life because i knew that i am going to buy that what if this clause is not there what if purchase option is not there what should be my depreciation tell me what should be my depreciation of rou asset can you say sir term wait you have to look what is the useful life of the asset if that useful life of the asset is less than the term of the contract obviously you have to depreciate by the life of the asset so if this purchase option or purchase concept is not there then the roi asset shall be depreciated to the extent of useful life or lease term whichever is earlier your asset is having 50 year life lease is only 3 years you are not going to get that asset you will depreciate by 3 years the lease is for 10 years but the useful life of the asset is going to finish by 8 years only so roi asset has to get depreciated over 8 years sir go on no asset is not useful no there is no it is not useful life right balance will not be there asset balance will not be there you will be using it like a, okay forget today you buy an asset you purchase an asset whose life is 8 years you might use it for 10 years what you will do after 8 year after 8 year it is written off but still you continue to use do it that way no say why you should give separate treatment for our roi asset see what is the definition of an roi asset you it is your asset you are getting substantial benefits only name is different port belongs to sri lanka but it is actually chinese land so what treatment you give to your asset 
You have to give the treatment to ROS. Only nomenclature is ROU. Otherwise, it is your asset only. That's why we go this incremental borrowing, no? Written off. Liability will continue. Yes, yes. Makes sense, no? Okay, so lease subsequent. How do we measure subsequently lease liability? Amortize. So lease liability is just similar to your financial liability, which you have to amortize. So are you clear about the initial measurement? Are you clear how you to do subsequent measurements in that depreciation component for ROE asset? Impairment is there, you have to charge impairment and lease liability, you have to do amortization. Add interest at EIR, okay, that concept is not there here because here there is only one rate, off market and all are not there. You will have one rate, implicit, same rate you will use for amortization. You do the lease payments, you deduct it and again you should be careful, lease, non-lease, allocation. What will go get deducted from the liability? The liability amount which are used for discounting initially. Simply don't put any amount. And if any adjustments are done on account of remeasurement, that will get adjusted. Clear? Clear about subsequent measurements? Okay. How should you recognize the expense? You are going to recognize depreciation and interest expense on lease liability. Variable lease payments not included in the lease, that is also lease only. But you didn't include it in the lease liability. If any variable leases are there on basis of your sales and all, you never include it. But should you exclude it? No, it is a part of your expense, debited to PNL account as lease expense. Then if any impairment is there, you have to charge the impairment on the ROE asset. Okay, what is impairment? In the 36 we will discuss. Here there is no question on impairment applicable to you. Now, there is one concept called a front loaded expense recognition pattern just for your understanding purpose, nothing, no differences, no problems to solve. Now, see, you are paying 1 to 5 years lease rent 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh, 1 lakh. Under traditional accounting, what you would have done? Lease rent expense account debit to bank. So, now what you do? You find out the present value of these lease expenses, lease rent and find out you say this is my present value and you pass an accounting entry ro you set account to lease liability 3,79 followed what is going to come this is the initial recognition now yearly depreciation will be 75,816 3,79,079 you are going to depreciate for next 5 years now year 1 this will become your opening balance of the lease liability because initially you measured expense is going to come at the rate of interest expense is going to come at the rate of 10. The amount what you have paid, how much? 1 lakh, you are going to deduct as a lease rent, contractual cash flow, you got a closing balance. Like this you prepare an amortization schedule, at the end of 5th year the lease liability has become 0. Fits in, perfectly understood. Now what is your interest expense over of next 5 years, 1 lakh 20,921 which is nothing but your difference between opening and 5 lakhs. So, if I say as per index 17, old account index or your old accounting standard, I would have debited lease rent, lease rent, lease rent, 1 lakh. But in index 116, I am going to debit depreciation 75,000 and interest expense 37, 31, 24, 17 like this. So, my this is the expense I recognize. Followed ultimately 5 lakh, not even 1 rupee more, 1 rupee less over next 5 years. But the pattern in which I am going to recognize the expense is totally different from the traditional India's accounting. Traditionally, I would have recognized something on a straight line basis. Now, under India's, it will be diminishing. So, this is called a front loaded expense recognition pattern, just for your understanding. What is front loaded? That means big expenses you recognize initially. Then it goes on like this, which is no, it was not done under your previous Indians. Clear about the concept? Okay, just for your understanding. 
Yes, so that is why under new accounting, you have something called the lease liability in the balance sheet, ROU asset on the asset side. You don't have anything called the lease rent expense. Yes, rent expense you have for that variable lease only. Lease rent. Instead, it is replaced by depreciation and interest on lease liability over a period of five years, which will match with your lease amount only. So this is the way you are going to account your lease. Clear? Perfect. Chalo. So lease liability. Okay, and uh, we'll uh, anyhow we'll solve this question. At the end of the year, I'm going to pass depreciation account debit to ROU. It will go on. Simple. Best thing is employee advance given. What is the accounting entry you pass? One you will pass amortization of that employee discount for next five years. Employee benefit expense account debit to employee discount. Employee benefit expense account debit ah, something like that. Fixed amount on SLM basis. Then you get some contractual cash flows. What is the accounting entry you pass? Interest income account um, uh, this loan account debit to interest income. Bank account debit to loan. Same entry set of entries you are going to pass here for expense. So you say interest expense account. Interest expense debit to lease liability then lease liability to bank so whatever you are paying as a lease rent you credit debit as a lease liability you don't claim it as an expense it's a, ah, you know you, you, you might come across one problem there was an accountant called mukesh 5 lakh lease rent was paid he debited 1 lakh lease rent was paid he debited to pnl what do you say now wrong uh, you have to calculate the present value like this, ROU has to be depreciated like this, interest expense has to be recognized like this, this is what we are going to do. That is the new lease accounting. Somebody may not understand outside, this is uh, what you are doing. What is this accounting? Then we have to say, look, why we are doing this accounting? See, our accounting is not different from traditional accounting. Again, I am telling you, if at all, it is a normal lease. If at all it is a normal lease where you don't enjoy that ROU, then what is the accounting entry you pass for one lakh payment? Lease rent account debit to bank. We also pass the same thing. If your lease fails, if the contract do not contain a lease, you what accounting entry you pass versus what accounting entry somebody will understand, one and the same. But what is hiding here? Right to use is hiding. You have got the contract in such a way, you are enjoying an absolute right over the property. Then my accounting is going to change. Then this is the accounting I am going to do. Lease rent expense account debit to bank I will not do. Follow no? Understand every standard, you put something extra, I will show my real face. This is what India says. No, normal. You want traditional? Continue traditional. I am there, already there, because I am by default traditional only. Followed? Yes. So, read this question. Question number 6. Finished. Easy. How you are going to account? See, they said account. Be careful. End to end, unless they spell, tell you specifically. Every aspect of accounting you have to tell. If there is something on a presentation, you have to talk on presentation also. And at the same time, look at the marks also. Ah, whatever I have given based on this and I have marked important no? because they have given something called summary of lease accounting and all. 
so we'll understand that okay yeah new generation is very powerful no or old generation is powerful what do you think what is your opinion powerful, on what powerful means something very dynamic some flexible change new generation is do is that or old generation new no agreed right just you know kids whatever or new young youngsters this grasping understanding being flexible getting into it because we have learned from the experience of old generation they didn't knew lot many things because it was not there now it is there and we have learned it just like that this is new generation accounting which is going to go off in next 7 to 8 years finish no more indies blockchain accounting maybe next 10 years blockchain accounting go oh, indies next generation students are going to ask ha huh? indies what was that yeah. yes that is going to happen the it uh, dynamic of accounting is going to change like somebody we 100 year back we go and explain indies nothing derivative ah huh? derivative how what that's going to happen that you are think no what 20 you see no let the blockchain come you don't know where it is going to go off you have to twist all the standards according to the blockchain because see something changes no accounting is there to represent the truth what happens outside what happens outside is not based on your accounting so if something changes outside no you have derivative was never there all of a sudden derivative came accounting has to happen blockchain was never there bitcoin was never there all of a sudden comes you have to think now how it is going to happen and there is we play a role correct no we play a role because who understand first of all if i have to go for blockchain accounting first of all i should be knowing what is accounting no <laughs> if i don't know accounting then how do i can do it and change is permanent you have to get flexible enough to move from one to another leave the black let the old die take the new and that is my realization huh? in life is something new you want no the old has to die without the death of old new thing and it's very painful when something old dies no it is very painful but you will be very happy when something new thing happens oh, it is dying uh, it is dying and if i want something personally in my life i want to achieve i have something very old maybe old bad habits old thinking my old fears that has to die and then you will get something new that is my realization anyhow okay entity abc enters into 3 year lease yes you understand in this 116 of equipment see you need not ex uh, explore and see okay whether there is a lease included or not and make the following annual lease payments when end ah be careful so 20000 year 1 2 3 simplicity see they have been very uh, this thing they said that there will not be purchase option lease direct cost etc discount rate will be 12% which is borrowing rate and depreciate on roi you need not give but you understand it how you are going to account the lease so this is primarily more of a calculation okay so you need not explain again depends now you have got the skill you can explain that yes we are going to account it by finding out the present value of the lease liability that depending upon see let us what we are going to solve here is what they have done in the study material but there are no No, it sounds like eight marks. I have given. This is my judgment. No, by looking at the output, or it can be come for five marks. Also, we have seen that such type of thing. Then that paper becomes very lengthy. Okay, that you have to think. And again, they said account. Account means it include may include calculations also. It may you will start with telling that okay, there is a lease liability which I find out using the present value. You can start your explanation like that. Okay, so here pure calculations are involved. So they might say calculate the values and account it, and pass the general entries. 
they may say anything in the exam clear okay so how do we start with how do i cal start with what is my first step if i have to account this transaction what is my first step uh, by default no second thought in when it comes to lease or for that matter in days 109 what is the first step you look transaction price and is it at a fair value no then present value of the future cash flows that is my format here no second thought no fair value no transaction price nothing by default i start with the present value of the lease liability now if i have to talk about present value of lease liability what is my lease liability i should be careful and looking five aspects nothing sixth one that is why they said for simplicity sake i will not give you purchase option i will not include the termination fine what i have then lease liability what is my lease liability here fixed payments so i have got year 1 2 3 what is my fixed payment 20 30 50 okay. this is fixed or variable fixed. fixed which changes over a period of time that is okay now discount factor will be at what rate 12%, 12%. 12%. so i need not apply here market rate and all that concept is not there and again see they are not told you know did they tell you the you have to recognize the roi set at a fair value and all nothing so fair value concept doesn't come here this specifically told you for calculate at a future uh, present value of the future lease liability 0.712 so you multiply this 17860 23910 and 35600 so you start with the lease liability of how much 77 77 so why you have to do this calculation what you will do after finding out lease liability what you are going to do so what you are going to do Ah, general entry. Which is that general entry? Initial recognition entry. You need not pass. You can pass later, huh? or if you want, you can pass immediately after this. You start with one accounting entry, ROI asset account debit to lease liability. If you want, you can pass right now, or understood. No, same pattern we were doing in one zero nine also. You can pass right now, or it is there in your mind. I know that flow of entries. You can give all the entries together. And but when I do the first entry, the working is this. for initial measurement now tell me what should i do next amortization why subsequent subsequent measurement okay and how do i subsequently measure roi asset how do i subsequently measure roi asset that also i amortize how amortize discount roi asset roi asset depreciate that means 77 370 divided by how many be careful ah huh? ah be careful you can't simply straight away say just look have they given the life of the asset please or a list see that they may say they may not say that they may say may not say don't go with that always stop when it comes to deposition stop look apply your mind what information is there because they might give you the life there can be a purchase option they may say that i am going to buy this asset it can come in any form follow no here it is simple they have given you straight line abc depreciate roi is a straight line over a list term they have told you this sentence imagine if this sentence is not there ulta something extra is added life is only 2 years if they say ah then my where well, your subsequent measurement is going to change okay so after this i had to do subsequent measurement when it comes to subsequent measurement there are two components of subsequent measurement two things are subsequently measured in a different way initially simple but when it comes to end of the year rou is measured in a different way lease liability is measured in a different way what should i do first lease liability okay let us start with the amortization schedule which i call schedule of lease liability 
What is my opening balance? How much? Seventy-seven thousand three seventy. So immediately after one zero nine, it is good, no? When you do list liability, yes. You get connected. That flow is there, and once it sits, no, in your mind, then sufficient. Because again, after some time, I start. After uh, ten fifteen days, then again that would have been forgotten. I should not forget. Yeah, I should not forget. Huh? Correct. Because once you have a base that is there within you. So, what is the closing balance? Tell me the closing balance. How much? Which closing balance? Here, sixty. Sure. How it became zero? Others also got this zero. Are you sure it should become zero or not? What do you say in principle? Uh, how it is going? How? What is the logic that it has become zero? From seventy-seven, how it has become zero? Because you are paying. You are paying every time, time, no? This liability. Okay, so you got others also got zero. So you start with seventy-seven three seventy. Interest expense will be at twelve percent. Twenty thousand with the lease payment, closing balance. So you have to write here the last difference. Put one star mark here, which you have forgot. Correct, no? Make a practice. You are all perfectionist, no? No. Okay, so the liability balance has become zero. Now ROI asset also we will do it. One schedule of ROI asset. Schedule for presentation sake. We should not take much time. Okay, this is done. Okay, so how do we do ROI asset? There are no other elements. I have got year one, two, three. What is my opening balance? Seven seven three seventy. Because they might ask you the closing balances at the end. You can do it in multi ways. It is not a big deal here. So how much is the depreciation for the first year? Twenty five thousand seven ninety for three years, right? So you get a closing balance of fifty one five eighty, twenty five seven ninety, and nil. Closing balances at the end of the third year is nil. So you initially measure, initially passed an accounting entry, and at the end of the every year you measured your ROI asset and your lease liability in two different ways. And is there any remeasurement happening any point of time? No. This level does not change, so I'll leave it. Not bothered about it. So now let us pass the general interest. Yes, pass the general interest for the first year. Pass the general interest for the first year. Done. Please pass the general interest. Then we'll compare. Okay. So in the exam, they may say financial statement extract summary. So which we'll prepare, huh? 
financial statement extract summary. I have given us a note. Done. Finished accounting entry for the first year. Yes, what is my first entry? First entry. Oh, you have already passed uh, initial recognition. So, initial recognition ROU2 lease liability 77370. I am done. When? At the beginning, when the contract is signed. Next. Interest expense, Interest expense to lease liability 9284. And if you want, you can pass a combined entry. Then, lease liability to bank. If you have passed a combined entry, then interest expense, lease liability, lease liability to, to bank. bank. What is lease liability? The difference between 20 minus, 20 minus 9 to 8 4. Clear? What is my next entry? Depreciation. Depreciation expense, expense account debit P and L to ROU. Now, they will ask you in examination, pass the entries for the first year and then prepare the summary extract of the balance sheet. So, over a period of 5 years, depends. If they simply say pass the entries, account, then what you are going to do? You are going to pass the accounting entries, same set of entries, next 3 years. Followed? If they simply say account, pass the entries, next 3 years, look at the marks, decide. Specifically, they tell you, prepare balance sheet extract or summary extract, something like that. Again, I have to recollect, what do you mean by summary extract? Ah, then you have to try to recollect, okay, did we solve this type of question? Yes, somewhere I have done summary extract of the financial statement. So, we have to do it, summary extract, summary of lease accounting, year 0, 1, 2, 3. How much is the lease payments? You write the lease payments. Today, you are not going to make any payment. Every year you are going to make the lease payment of 20, 30, 50. And in a PNL account, what is going to come? Interest first, always depreciation. Because if you see the format of Schedule 3, depreciation comes after finance cost. Doesn't matter. You can also write. Okay, how much is my interest? Year 0. Nothing. 9284. 7998. 7998 and 53348. 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5
how the entire accounting is going to happen okay so this i have given important only and only for one reason because of this statement if this statement was not there do you think is a such a important big question In the solution they have given, yes. The huh. Solution, yes, it is also simple. You say, sir, what is the big deal here? Yes. We can do it. But just one day before, read this note and go. That this question does not speak of anything called a summary. Solution contains summary, that is it. You know that. Done? Okay, we will move on to the next question. Yes, next question is important. in MTP of May 20, which has come for 16 marks. Okay, let me check MTP of May 20. That's why I am confident that numbers verified. Now you will wonder, no? What is there in 16 marks? No, you might get for 10 marks also. That may be also a strategy. But it is very rare that 16 mark question will be asked for 4 or 5 marks. Even though you discount it by 50 percent, that means there is something worth 8 to 10 marks. Okay, so now we will start reading. First of all, we have become very alert. Huh? Ah, but uh, catch you have understood now. Is it worth 16 marks? Hmm. Even though it may not come for exactly 16 marks, but somewhere 10. That's why important and you can put this in highly probable because this has not come for exam. See understood no? See previous question also I have put important because of some reason which you know that okay that is not such a big deal. But this is in important it is highly probable because it needs a proper practice. So there go back and put one tick mark for HP for this question. Question number 7. So that you remain more focused. Question number 7. Yes. Now, company EFG entered into lease of property with entity H. Who is let's see here? In whose books you have to account? And when you read this entered into lease property, lease, you understand 116. Now, EFG is my let's see. But I don't know whose books I have to account. Every question you read, ultimately you see that you have to account in the books of lesser. That is also possible. Because we have lesser accounting also. No? We are learning now lessee accounting. The initial term of the lease is 10 years with the 5 year renewal option. Ah, now I got a catch. What should I do? For 10 years or 15 years? The economic life of the property is 40 years. 
and fair value of the property is 50 lakhs. The first annual payment is 5 lakhs with the increase of 3% every year thereafter. The implicit rate is 9.04%. The entity H gives EFG an incentive of 2 lakhs which is payable at the beginning of year 2 which is to be used for normal tenant improvement okay as an option to purchase the property at the end of the lease term for rupees 30 lakhs company is reasonably certain to exercise that purchase option how would efg measure the roe asset and lease liability over the lease term and what did they say how did you account what you are supposed to do now, ah, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to pass the accounting entries over a lease term? No, they said how you are going to measure that means what is the value of that lease liability and asset at the end of every year over next lease term. But what is missing here which you might find in exam analyze. Bit theory is there which you have to practice and remember. How to write that? Otherwise, what they have asked you? Calculate the values of lease liability and ROI asset at the end of every year. Question is simple. Now, you have to answer me. First of all, what is my starting point in any question? Lease liability. What is my lease liability here? What is my lease liability here? 5 lakhs fixed component. Then Obviously, this 5 lakh is going to change with the 3% every year. You understood it. That is a fixed. Is there any variable? I told you. See, questions are going to come like this. Confusing, no? And you have to solve it in a very systematic manner. You have to always start with what is my initial? Then what is my subsequent? You have to go in that particular fashion. So, for initial recording, you start with the least liability present value of the lease liability do I have all the information with me what is my lease liability yes you say sir fixed amount of 5 then is there any variable lease payments ah, there is somewhere the uh, in that fixed if the incentive received by the given by the lesser and this is before commencement or after commencement after come, before commencement we have already done it is not going to affect lease liability that 50,000 rupees it is going to affect your ROI asset after commencement if you have got any incentive which is 2 lakh has to be deducted from the lease liability understood ok do we have any variable lease payments no then do we have any termination clause early termination termination no do we have any options to purchase what is the exercise price 30 lakhs am i going to do it do i know at this point of time yes i am reasonably certain when i am going to exercise this which is my list term ah so if you have got think you have got a lease term of 10 years with the extension of 5 now today, on today's date, when you enter the lease term, what is there in your mind? To acquire the assets, when? At the end of 10th year or 15th year, makes difference in your calculations. You tell me, you feel like an accountant, you imagine like an accountant. What makes sense? 10 years. Why? Because have they told that how are you going to extend it and then you are going to acquire? Have they told anything specifically like that? Forget this this clause itself. Uh, this this uh, I have to pay five years rent. Rent also you have to pay, no. Because again you have which is the which is beneficial. Yeah, if you have to pay thirty lakhs at the some amount, will you pay that thirty lakh at the end of tenth year or at the end of fifteenth year? Tenth year. Tenth year, that's what? The whole yeah. Then afterwards you need not pay the rent. You need not pay the rent. But uh, who is giving that? If after 10 years or 30, after 15 years or 30, they will charge more at the end of 
but have they told now you think have they told anything specifically which year what when Sir, if it is 15 years, huh. I have to pay 5 years extra rent, rent. and also 30 all the 30 lakhs. So it is better. To Which is better? Ah, have they told specifically that 30 is when? Now you are understood, sir. Why after 15 also I should pay 30? Okay, then they should tell me in the question. No, if the question is silent, can you assume that this is 10th or 15th? No, then what I assume? My contract says 30. Whenever you exercise, pay thirty. But what they say, purchase at the end of the lease term. I can't use this thirty at the end of seventh year. I can't use. So if my contract says at the end of term, which can be tenth or which can be fifteenth, what somebody will do? At the end of tenth only they will take. Because why I should pay again five year rent, extra rent, mad or what? And again I have to pay thirty only after fifteen year. So your lease term is ten years. Forget this sentence is not there. Acquisition sentence is not there. Sentence itself is not there. You have a plain question which says the lease is with the ten years with the renewal option of five years. Tell me what is the lease term? Ten. Do you have any assurance today that you are going to extend for next five years? Not the given. Not the given means you assume not there. Otherwise, they should tell you with the clear sentence that there is a reasonable certainty today that I am going to extend for next five years. Even here, they have not given an extend. They just told at the end of the lease term. That's it. Lease term. The lease term term can be ten or fifteen. Fifteen. But they, I I will assume okay if I have to pay the same amount at the end of tenth year also fifteenth year also unless they have told me specifically. And this option I can exercise at the end of the term. I will assume it is tenth year, no? So here my lease term will become ten now. Ten, and should that make any difference? Large difference because the present value of your working is going to happen for ten. Understood? No. See, Sir, questions won't be straightforward. Huh? Ah, uh, whichever we choose. Amounts, accounts, amounts are will be different. And think, okay, you make your assumptions. You choose. Doesn't matter, but it should be something very reasonable. That's what I'm telling. If in the exam, forget about this purchase option concept itself is not there. Same question is given to you. Now I'll ask you one basic question: Will you take ten years or fifteen years? You have to take ten. Why? Because if at all renewal option is there, they should give you that today when the contract is signed, you should have that certainty to extend for next fifteen years. Because it is not compulsion. No, it is option. Can you say my life liability is for next fifteen years? Can you say today? No. Think in terms of lease liability. What is your lease liability? Ten. Ten is non-cancellable. So what is your lease liability today? Sir, ten. Because it is fixed, I cannot change. Then I'll ask you, what is that five? Sir, I have option, right? I can avoid it. Now you can avoid. Agreed. But what is the situation today? Do you want to avoid or do you don't want to avoid? Sir, I want don't want to avoid because I am very certain. That I am going to extend it for next five years. If that sentence comes somewhere, you take it fifteen. You are understanding what is a practical thing. You are able to imagine what is happening practically. Don't look just as an examination question. Now I'll ask you a second question. Ten years. When I am paying the lease rent, beginning or at the end. That also makes difference in our calculation. Tell me, beginning or at the end? Did you observe? So, what do you say? End. On what basis you say end? Lease rent is paid at the beginning or at the end? Sixteen marks. Why they will give you? The incentive is payable at the beginning. Okay, so here the hint, the solution is done with the assumption that the lease rent is payable at the beginning because when you pay that second year rent, the owner is going to give you an incentive of two lakhs. No, no. Okay, again, again I said look into the question. Exam, we should get better clarity. In exam, they might add one sentence, no? 
at the beginning what is there problem is solved but here they are going to test you are you putting your mind or simply they have given one solution and copying it they want to test you otherwise it doesn't take how much ink will go right to add one sentence this least reliability paper at the beginning is a big loss to the institute by having one sentence included no why ha uh, are you thinking about it did you observe it are you getting yourself prepared in the examination to face any type of situation that is what is important come to the basic question okay i'll ask you one basic question very fundamental question what is the purpose of examination tell me what they are trying to test uh, skill sets what skill sets what is what they are trying to test on the examination day tell me what comes to your mind what do you think they are testing yes we have written exam no from childhood we are writing exam have you ever thought what they are trying to test in me ever thought or just we are going to giving writing exam because that day we have to go and write what do you think forget now our thought now i am asking you a question what do you think what they are trying to test your knowledge cannot be tested in 3 hours with 100 marks if knowledge has to be tested it should be 1000 mark question on every single chapter not subject whether you know or not how do i know and i have have watched syllabus in that watch syllabus in 3 hours i am giving you 100 marks so your knowledge and you can do some strategies also leave this leave that look at the past pattern question paper and your luck also might strike so i am not testing your knowledge what i am testing understand one thing you are, are tested do you have the competency to face uncertainty because that is the life exam of the life no life also it happens same thing you get one situation you don't know but for that situation if you anticipate and you start preparing yourself that day is going to come on that day unexpected things are happen it might be launching of a new product doing into a project preparing the financial statements filing of preparing your tax audits you have got a deadline and on that day when the books of accounts have come it might be anything any new adjustment might be there anything uncertain may be there okay are you keeping peace of your mind are you not disturbed are you able to think critically at that point of time that point of time huh? not other time when other time we are free lot of thoughts comes but in that stressful situation how you react to an uncertainty is what is tested so exams are uncertain yes what is your approach what is your attitude that's what i told you confidence means this is my belief because when confidence is there in the examination all then things starts to strike you start thinking for four direction when you lost confidence the mind blocks you, you are not able to think how to start what is my step what is the first step i should write what is that i should start with you don't know so understood no so be clear clarity is power anyhow followed here in exam you might get a clarity that the least rent is payable at the beginning but if they are not given you are going to take a hint from this that there is some adjustment happening at the end of the year clear yes now did i have every information with me i calculate the present value of the least liability then i calculate the rou how do i subsequently measure my lease liability amortization schedule done how do i subsequently measure my rou asset at what rate how many years depreciation is for how many years for 40 years. 40 years why because you are going to buy this asset yeah for 40 years pp after did say they didn't ask you accounting entries no, no, yeah. ah then ah then whatever balance remains no that you will transfer to pp you pass a new accounting entry at the end of 10th year pp account debit roi set account to bank 30 lakhs 
clear okay so we'll start with the solution okay now if they say analyze at all obviously they should tell your solution contains analysis so first thing you are going to start about the analysis of the lease liability or accounting of the lease liability you are going to say something on the lease liability heading as per india 116 how you calculate the lease liability it is the present value of the lease payments less lease incentives plus exercise price using the rate at 9.04 percent you can write in the form of a sentence primarily you are going to tell initially how you are going to measure the lease liability what is that you are going to say lease liability is initially measured which is the present value of my lease payments less incentive add exercise price to be discounted at 9.04 percent one sentence which i have broken into points is actually one sentence now second if you at all you want to give a note which one you want to give Uh, you can say that lease payments are assumed to be paid at the beginning then what else you want to explain term you are going to tell about the term what is the term term will be 10 years as reasonably certain to exercise we are going to consider the entire term is for 10th year then what else you want to explain increase of 2% okay no that is not an assumption because it's a straightforward okay this is clear no lease term you are going to explain lease term will be 10 years reasonably certain to exercise so you assume that the lease rents are paid at the beginning question is silent yes then you can say one more point depreciation which they have not told i think they have told at the end yeah they have told this note at the end depreciation no problem you can tell here also you can tell later also okay so we start with the three assumptions and two notes and one assumption okay what is my first step calculation of present value of the lease payments can you tell me this amount can you tell me the amount yes you also please pause the video and tell me the present value of the lease payments be careful huh, while calculating apply your mind okay i'll give you the heading heading is very simple year then lease pay, lease rent present value factor at how oh, present value annuity factor think 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 you think how you can do it now at what rate present value factor 9.04 percent and p v l r present value of lease rent you have to tell me one amount here okay students you also please pause the video do it think think spend your think over it and i see we have given the notes assumptions we know that the lease rent is going to increase by three percent every year then there is some incentive coming see when we are paying lease rent at the beginning of the year so do the working and tell me the amount see it's a 60 mark question and more importantly see your thinking clarity at one round only one shot only should be perfect and more importantly see high chances same question might come That is my feeling, my observation. It may not come, but not less than 10 marks. 10% is a big number. I don't know. 10 marks is a big number. Why they have given? And what is that 9.04 percent? Yesterday one question came. Sir, how IRR I will find out? I am not paying anything. Sangeet asked one question yesterday. How do I find out IRR? 9.04 is an IRR. 
that means how do you know your calculations are perfect you have to proceed okay did you finish with the working present value of the lease payments should be 50 lakhs okay you finish finish no i'll proceed i'll start doing you want me to do one button for me tuck like this it's going to come now you want to give want me to give the pf factor ah very smart why i should give pf factors okay so what is okay you tell me what is my first pf factor then i will tell ah one zero year no first payment ah then i will tell you my pf factors are 0 0.917 0 0.841, 0 0.771, 0 0.707, 0 0.649, 0 0.595, 0 0.546, 0 0.5, 0 0.459. For 9 years or 10 years? Sure. 0 to 9? 10th year I don't have at the end of 10th year. What is that? 30 lakhs. Ah, catch otherwise what are you thinking? They are masters. People know opposite side are masters. They must have practiced number of times we may, may not have thought about it. That is why we call them masters. No? See, 15 minutes gone huh? for one cash flow calculation. And now it feels like no CA final with this problem. That is all previous chiller pillar problems and all. Four mark question. Right? Yes, I'm waiting. Okay, so first let us write year. What should I write? I'll start with the year zero because always I make. Let us make one practice now. If I say rent at the beginning, present value factor, I will start with the zero. Yesterday I told one, then okay, Umar told no, sir. Let us start with zero. Let us start with zero. Avoid all confusions. Mm, you got fifty. Yes, perfect. Now, what is my lease rent? Five lakh. Now, forget about present value factor. That is different. Think about con contractual. At the end of first year or beginning of second year, what is your lease rent? How? What is your lease rent? Five lakh is going to become increased by five lakh fifteen. But will you pay five lakh fifteen? Two lakhs you are going to deduct. So you prepare three lakh fifteen thousand. Clear? Which one? Lease rent. Ah, you say CF cash flow, whatever. But I have been telling no. Think contractually. Contractually, I am a lease lesser. I will not keep quiet if you don't delay, if you don't do. This is this make sense now? Okay, now you tell me at the end of second year. No, at the beginning of this third year. At the end of second year. Okay, because we are taking end of the factor, no? Your choice, huh? you say one you at the beginning and you decide that how to do. Now at the end of second year or beginning of the third year, what is my lease rent I pay? Now what we do from three lakh fifteen we add three percent. We should not do three lakh fifteen. It should be five lakh fifteen into three percent. Ah, no, no. Uh, 
सो इट विल बी फाइव लैख थर्टी फोर फिफ्टी फाइव लैख थर्टी हाँ फाइव लैख फिफ्टी हाँ देन फ्रॉम यर माई सी अगेन आई एम टेलिंग यू वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड कैच पॉइंट दिस इज माई कैच पॉइंट दिस इज माई कैच पॉइंट दिस इज माई कैच पॉइंट Afterwards, I need not stop. Straight away, I jump into five lakh forty six three sixty four, five lakh nine sixty two seven fifty two. I just go on, go on. The last catch point comes in the tenth year because it is not nine; it's the end of tenth year. Ninth year, my lease finishes for a lot of ten years. At the end of tenth year, it is thirty lakhs. followed so five lakh at the beginning of year 0 today at the end of first year or beginning of second year we will make that practice always if i start with zero that means what is one beginning of second year to avoid all confusion if i don't start with if i start with one end of first year one means end always let us go with that assumption for all the questions Zero means beginning. One means end or beginning of second. Now, when I say ten, what do you mean by ten? End of tenth year. When I say nine, and so beginning of end of nine, beginning of ten. By that time, I would have finished paying all lease rent, ten rents. Tenth, I'll pay thirty. I'll multiply with the present value factors, and I get. Somewhere fifty lakhs to twenty-five, which is matching to its present value. That means today only I have sold to you. Actually, I could have sold this asset. I am a seller. Instead of selling, what I did, I sold you at a fair value in the form of a lease. It is a sale only, because at the end of tenth year you are going to become the owner. Simple. You want one washing machine. You want one washing machine. You go to say Harsha or Pi International somewhere. You pay cash and buy. What value you have to pay? Fifty thousand rupees. So you say, sir, no, I don't want to pay the cash. I will take in EMI. At the end of say tenth year or tenth month or whatever, will you end up paying fifty thousand only? You will be paying more. That is what that example I told. Amount is cost. 500 is what you pay right now it is called a cash price it is called a cash equivalent or fair value or if you pay 600 rupees 200 200 200 that 100 is the interest component now what is my irr irr is 9.78% which is sitting in this 100 500 to 600 followed Which is sitting in this 500 to 600. That is my IRR, which is this nothing but 9.04. So when I find out the present value of the cash flows, which exactly match with 500, I say that the lease rent are the fair rent. And the only component sitting there is the time value of money. Nothing else is sitting. Instead of this, I could have sold you at fifty today, but I am selling you. That's why now you understand. Is this thirty at the end of tenth year or fifteenth year? Tenth year, because if you take it at fifteenth year, your present value of the future cash flow will not become fifty. And something of happens not at a fair value. Somebody will be in a profit or somebody will be in a loss. If at all, if this doesn't turn out to be fifty, say this comes to forty. Who is in a loss? Lesser is in a loss or less in a loss? Tell me. If this present value of lease payment comes to forty lakhs instead of fifty, present value of the lease payments come to forty lakhs instead of fifty. Now tell me who is smiling behind screen? Both will make sad face. You find both of the people face sad. But somebody is very happy behind that sad face. Who is that? Lesser or lessy? Lessy is happy because something he should have paid today to buy cash fifty lakhs. 
he told i will take in emi and the present value of that cash flows comes to 40 that means but on when i sign the contract of emi only did i not make 10 lakh profit yes will i not be happy behind my sad face because if i show my happy face lesser will instantly come to know there is something problem he will say no 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 wait 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 let me calculate again na nah, no 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 pay me at that end of 10th year so i will say to it that uh, yeah what is problem but yes 10 lakhs i have made a profit there that means this rent is not a fair rent if it is coming to 40 this concept is important when we come to sale and lease back you have to see what is my fair rent this is the market rent follow no because see lease is an another name for sale if i don't want to enter into lease what i would have done you i would have sold you or you could have taken a loan from the bank and purchased that from me you i am financing you by selling this i am financing you am i not financing did i not finance you will pi international will not finance you by selling the fridge or washing machine in emi and that what they are going to collect they are going to collect time value of money perfect this is perfectly sitting in your mind so now i understand that the 30 lakhs is at the end of 10th year because my present value of the cash flows exactly match with the cash press and this is my irr done this working is done so is there any way that i can make it as a fair rent no we have to do that calculation maybe you have to do quickly in the calculator or as a rough work but we have to go through this process clear not like that not but even, even okay financial instrument also when something is unconventional if this was not 3% increase every year within no time you would have done by applying pvaf but you cannot apply pvaf then you are left with no choice whether it is 109 whether it is 116 you have to do one year by year by year year by year and again added to it it is at the beginning of the year which is not there in 109 that's what you need to practice finish this part is done so you do it if you have missed what i'll do next tell me pass an accounting entry yes this is what is in the accounting part you can done it by taking a hundred factor how so we just add all this total contract is there okay that lies we add all the values ha yes. 85 lakhs 87 ha ha divided by 11 11 pv factor for 11 pv factor for 11 pv factor for 11th year pv af pv factor for 9 years 9 years okay yeah 9 what i get what is the outcome i get It's just like right now the amount is by per meter, and we are taking that much, that percent factor for that year. Instead, we do it divided. Okay, so what we'll do, which I understood, we'll try with some different logics. No, see, always a uh, scientist, scientists do that. See, scientists test the thesis. That means your your theory should be very strong. Yes, I very good, good observation. That you did found out the total value divided by 11 lakhs multiplied by present value factor. It, whatever you have got one process, it has come to 50. Now you have to test your theory for different possibilities. That is what all scientists do, no? Scientists come with certain theory. Bird is flying because of that. Now their theory should be able to address every queries. Now if I ask you, what if my 5% increase is happening? What if I pay at the end of the year? And if your theory, whatever you de design, if it stands, withstands every different type of scenario, then that is the truth. Then what you can do? You can scrap this working in the examination. You understood, no? You can scrap this examination. You can come with your method of working because you know for sure that is the perfect. Ah, but for that, you may have to. Your theory has to be tested thoroughly. What if this is going to happen? What if I increase by five percent? What if I pay at the end of the year? What if this lease is paid at this? So you have to use a calc Excel sheet, try different scenario, and whether your output matches perfectly with this output. 
If yes, you can do it. Follow no? Yes, this you can do since you invented that new methodology. Today you go try different scenario. You is an Excel. I am telling you, don't go with the calculator and this. Try different scenarios. Followed? Okay, so we will continue. I will pass a recognition entry 52 lease liability at a fair value today and see ROU and liability at a fair value. What is fair value? Cash price. Followed? Yeah, I can take 5 minutes, no? Yeah. Not getting. Okay, now why your RO, your lease liability or your ROI asset equal to the lease liability here? What is the reason? ROI asset and lease liability are one and the same. Why? That is fair value. This is fair value, but it need not be always same. No, ROI asset and lease liability need not be always same. Ah, then you have to explain here the ROU is equal to the lease liability because there is no adjustment for direct cost. There is nothing payment before the commencement date and any lease incentives are not received before the commencement date. Okay, one note you are going to give. Here if both are same because there are no additional things, extra things. Clear? So I can proceed further. Yes. Next, what is my depreciation on ROI asset? Can you tell me the amount of depreciation? You need not write in this format. You can straight away write depreciation is equal to depreciation is equal to how much how did you get 50 lakhs divided by 40 years why why you have taken 40 ah, you have to say one word that it is reasonable to be certain the purchased with let's say at the end of the term so depreciation on RIU will be charged at the 40 I found the, <coughs> see if you have taken 40 you have to explain no why not just do do one forty and do the working. If you are you are going to pass an accounting entry ROI to lease, why it is same? Explain it. How much here you are going to charge depreciation? Ah, it depends upon what is the term. Now, if you go to the assumption that my term is 10 years, you take 10. But what if they say that I am reasonably certain to extend the term? Then you take 15 and present value factor also you will take for 15 years. Life itself is divided by 15 or say for simplicity sake, in this case, I will say this 50 lakhs I will charge over 10 years, 5 lakh rupees depreciation for year. Because I am not going to buy it, I am not going to extend it. So, this asset is going to finish, this enjoyment is going to finish after when? 10th year. Life may be 40 years, but who will enjoy after 10th year? The owner is going to enjoy. So, what is my period of enjoyment of this asset? 10 years. Now, if I am sure that I am going to extend that, what is my period of enjoyment? 15 years. Then it is called re-measurement. Re I have to recalculate. You, re, you have seen the formula, I have to adjust that plus or minus at the end of third year or fourth year. Okay, next question. Question number 8 is remeasurement. Ah, whichever is earlier. Now, which is earlier now? 10 years. Ah, that is when, which, which is, uh, when, whichever is earlier. If you do not have a partial option, if the asset is not compulsorily sold to the lessee. If you have got purchase option and you are going to exercise it or if the asset is compulsorily sold, then whichever is earlier not going to come into picture. It is life. By default, it is life. Not exercise. Then you are going to life or term, whichever is earlier. Ah, that is also there. Option is there, but I am not sure. I am not going to buy. Then life or term, whichever is earlier. Clear? Okay, so now this point you have written, depreciation you are going to do it for next 40 years because you are going to certain. Okay, the last part of the thing which is a very important, what is that? Ah, which we call lease liability schedule.
see do you think it is easy to do this liability schedule this is a, we have done no so many things we have got the cash flows can we do it easily but i will tell you one thing it's not so easy to be done beginning of the year so always remember the moment you see at the beginning of the year one work adjustment you have to do in your schedule the lease payment generally what is our format opening balance plus interest less cash flow closing balance right correct if at all lease payments are paid at the beginning you start with the opening balance then cash flow then you say something called net opening balance then interest then closing balance followed otherwise you end up with the confusion i am telling you if you want to follow your old format of opening plus interest minus cash flow minus closing balance yes recipe for confusion you don't want to get confused perfectly should come just do one step cash flow you shift before it makes sense you pay before right shift cash flow before shift interest later after deducting the opening balance otherwise gone confusion means it is going to create a confusion to you you are paying okay you can try see time was not there as i have told you you prepare then you would have found out some mistake or sir how to do this because this is happening interest is getting on opening it, is, it would have come with all these problems if i had kept quiet <laughs> correct no then i would have told you late then what you should do shift lease payment beginning then you see perfectly how it sits in your calculation why i'm paying at the beginning because you have got a opening balance of 50 you instantly pay 5 and the interest will come on 45 opening balance ah but if you put this here interest by chance you might take on 50 which is not there the interest on the opening balance end of the year, end of the year on the opening balance now what is my opening balance not 50 45 is opening balance it interest will charge at the end of the year on the opening balance obviously what is my opening balance 45 no but if you say cash flow here you start you think that opening balance is 50 50 is not opening balance because already you paid 5 out of 50 follow okay so will you do it or we don't want to do it later if you want you can do it maybe 5 minutes it should take because this is the last step follow no I'll do it what to do see your luck factor right? time is short if time was there definitely i would have told please do it because one time you have to encounter this problem and then you realize ah re yeah, correct no this we should do and i expect such solution should come from your side i would have asked you hey, what to do now for oh, this is a big problem no in life then you said oh, sir, after a lot of brainstorming sir how come we shifted before then i said perfect you are in the right track So your first year interest, I will help you with four lakh six thousand eight hundred. The closing balance will be forty nine lakh six thousand eight hundred, which is going to become your opening balance. Then you pay. Ah, now cash flows. First you plot. I said no. First you plot all the cash flows, which is already there with you. Three lakh fifteen, five lakh thirty, four fifty, five lakh forty six thousand, three sixty four, five lakh sixty two, seven sixty four, three lakh seventy nine thousand, six thirty seven. You plot every cash flow. Said, sorry. sorry yes, year c again we i am doing if you write year zero then my first line will be blank no, amortization schedule is always done at the end of the year or at the beginning of the year but this payment is yeah, doesn't matter no i have written heading no beginning no 
beginning so what i say did i not write here opening balance did i not write here beginning so when i say one interest will be one and the closing balance will be at the end of one understand here when i say one at the end undisputed undisputed when i say one at the end of one now <coughs> okay what you can do see since you came with one question you say sir i am going to write zero no problem please pay attention every year you write fifth what do you start with zero zero what is the opening balance you start with 50 you pay five what is the net opening balance 45 tell me will interest comes dash so what is your net opening balance 45 which is next year's 145 cash flow is there yeah. at the end of one means beginning of two yeah. correct yeah. that is already put here first year's opening we have already put again that is what this is going to create a confusion now what you will put here tell me cash flow what is that cash flow you will put 3 lakh 15 is what you pay here no second year right second year beginning and uh, ah. Tell me what is the value I should put? Ah. Ah. End of the first year. Ah. Now what should I put? Okay. Now tell me what is the cash flow? Three lakh fifteen. Okay. Now. How much is net opening? Tell me. 45 lakhs minus 3 lakh 15. Yes, we have to find problem, huh? then we understand. 45, how much? 41 lakh 85. Ah, now comes the question of the day. Tell me interest. Question of the day is tell me the interest. 9.04 on what? Huh? Wrong. Because next year's next year payment this is second year beginnings payment you directed when the 31st december previous closing balance your interest should come 9.04 percent should come on this balance i've gone through go on no mess everything got confused because you think logically this interest should come on which balance at the end of the year right i am doing at the end of the year when i say end of the year it should be on the opening balance and if you deduct next year's beginning payment with the previous year closing balance interest closing balance is gone for a toss no i cannot calculate on this now you come here now you come in my calculation don't write zero you start with one what is the opening balance 50 lakhs did you pay anything at the beginning of the year? Beginning? Yes. When? 5, five lakh. See, always remember 1 at the end of the year. Now, what is my opening balance net? See, I have written the heading here. 45. At the end of the year, how much interest you will charge? On 45 lakh, 9.04 percent. How much? 4 lakh, 6,800. You got a closing balance at the end of first year, how much? 49,6800, which is going to become your second year's opening balance. 49,6800. And at the beginning of the second year only, you paid 3,15. You see, you know, how perfectly it fits in. 800. On this balance at the end of the year, you have to charge 9% zero interest. See, always is very good. You have to, this is critical thinking. Don't accept mine. Sir, this format you are giving, I don't accept it. And that's what I want. Test. Come out with your best 
solution. Like today you said, is there in my mind? I am going to test that in Excel. Somebody is coming with a new idea, new methodology. That is innovation. That's has to, that is what has to happen. But that innovation should be very strong and should be well tested. Now you tell me, sir, there is a better better than this. This is confusing. Yes, I will accept it. And if you don't find, you have to adopt what? This method. Because this is tested method. I am confident about it. What do you need to do? Is it such a complicated thing? No. Shift one column before. Let us test for all the questions. This logic. Here I don't never begin with zero. Keep in mind. And these are the catch points you have to keep in mind if the lease rent begins at the beginning of the year. That's why I'm, I can understand when you read a lease question, the moment you see lease is payable at the end, one expression comes in your face. I can, I can imagine that by sitting here in the examination hall, the smile comes. Oh, watch out. They were the dog. Correct, no? Okay, last year, which is the last year? I have come to the ninth year here, tenth year. Okay, beginning what happens here? What is my balance at the beginning of the year? 34 lakh 3174. This is when beginning of the tenth year. Now, do I pay any cash flows at the beginning of the tenth year? Beginning of tenth year? My last lease rent, no? What is it? Nine, nine year, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10th year. 10th installment I pay at the beginning of 9th, 10th year. Which is 9? Ah, not 11. Okay, 6 lakh? 52,387. Then, what is my net opening balance? 27 lakhs, 50,787. Interest will come on this opening balance. 2,49,213. Now, what is your balance at the end of the year? 30 lakhs. This is what you need to pay. That's what I told you in accounting entry. Accounting entry is what? PPE account debit. Oh, sorry, lease liability account debit to bank. 30. And whatever balance is lying in the PP, uh, ROI asset, PPE account debit to ROI. This lease liability you pay, no? Or you want to continue, you prepare at the end of 11th year. Okay, what is your opening balance at the end of 11th year? 11th year you prepare. What is the opening balance at the beginning of 11th year? 30 lakhs. How much payments you do? 30 lakhs. What is the balance? Nil. Will you, is there an interest applicable? Nil. What is the balance? Nil. Not my termination value, the exercise price at the end of. Now, now first of all, how did you decide 30? That is fair based on 9.04. The 30 is calculated considering my 9.04 IRR. That is why your opening balance, present value of the future cash flows become 50. Two lakh forty nine is the interest, no? Ah, that yes, star. You are going to put a star mark for two lakh forty nine and say differential interest is suggested in this two lakh forty nine. Clear? Perfect. Understood? You have to spend time on this question. Okay, so now you will give one. Okay, hope clear. This schedule is clear. Why we are shifting this lease payments beginning? And I start with 1, always do this practice. Eh? But when I calculate the present value, I start with 0. Others I'll, because 1 is there, present value factor 1 is there, I will miss that. When I find out the present value factor, I start with 0. When I prepare an amortization schedule, I start with 1. And for that matter, amortization schedule, not here, everywhere I start with 1, never ever I start with 0. Even in this 109 also, I start with 1 amortization schedule all the time every time irrespective of the payments of the cash flow 
always I start with one. But if I pay beginning, I shift this here. Clear? Perfect? Okay. Note, write one note. Although by the end of 10th year, EFG has fully extinguished the lease liability, it has finished the lease liability, it will continue depreciating the asset over its remaining life of 40 years. You have got a balance, no? you have purchased it, you transfer from ROU to PP and you will continue depreciating that PP. Perfect. Yesterday this was looking very simple, no? lease liability concept. No, some father are there, oh, uncle and fathers are there. This is one, okay. No, but hardly I, if I if I count, I can count in fingers and say four to five. Not more than four to five. First of all, important is how much? How many? Some nine or important I have given. In that only one we have come across now. Okay. So in the we'll continue. So first part we are done lease accounting. Initial measurement. So, next chapter we will start with the remeasurements. Next class.